Hey guys, how are you doing? Hi Corey, how are you? I thought I'd try to get this done before I take off to the States on Thursday because I know I won't be scoping much from there. I don't have internet there. Um, oh, you're still so really sick. Oh no, wait till you hear my story. I'm going to tell you why I haven't done this before now. It's pretty sad. Pretty horrible, actually. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna try to do a better job of scoping this this time. Not there yet. Tap tap. Cool. Okay, <laughs> I've got you. Okay, hey guys, how is it going? I have no idea if I even got this out in time for those. Several people said they didn't get to see the first one and they wanted to watch this again. And uh, this is the only time that I can possibly do this. So I'm going to go ahead and scope this information. And um, like I said, I really hope that Elaine Bradley or Justin Rothschank can join us at some time because that would be really, really great. Um, anyway, um, because they're they're really expert at this and I'm really not I'm pretty shit I just I've just started doing it but I'm glad to share the information and it's really easy and it's fun so I think you'll enjoy doing it but um so here's what we're gonna do I am going to um, just take you through the process and show you how I do it and what I've learned and then maybe you guys can you know share too and take it from here because I know you guys are gonna know a lot more than I do but I didn't broadcast a scope before now because just on Sunday my husband I'm going to show you these pictures um this is on my iPad my husband was <laughs> I'm glad you think it's random whatever um anyway this is our property and my husband was driving his tractor and I knew something was wrong and sure enough, he flipped the tractor, holy fucking God, and um, it, it um, should have killed him, but it did not. Yeah, he's okay. Uh, we've been in the emergency room twice. Yeah, holy cow. Um, and um, anyway, that's, that's why I have not scoped. I'm okay. I was freaking out because he was laying on the road. I thought he was dead or had had a heart attack or something, but he hasn't. But anyway, so yeah, that's what I've been doing. It's pretty, pretty creepy. But um, yeah, yikes, yikes, yikes. So I'm going to try to get my other periscope up here as well so that I can do a better job of scoping for you guys and have it on my iPad as well. Can you do that? I don't know. I think it's like a whole separate thing, isn't it? Maybe so. Oh well. I don't want to broadcast that. Oh, there I am. I'll just watch it. That's what I need to do. See, I shared it. You can just log in on the same account. Oh, cool. All right. So I think I'm. I think I'm there. I think I can see what I'm doing. So that's cool. Um. So what I'm going to do now. Um, so I'll give you, give you the whole details of everything horrible happening in my life. <laughs> so sad. Anyway, he's okay. He has a, um, broken, cracked, fractured L2 vert in it vertebrae and, but he could have been dead. So that's nothing compared to what it could have been. So pretty happy he's not dead. Anyway, so I had, didn't get all the stuff done that I was going to do like scoping for you guys, but I thought I'd go ahead and show you what I've done because I went ahead and fired. He just slept all day yesterday. And so I went ahead and did a firing and I, I'm going to show you some of the things that have happened that I've learned even in this last firing. Constantly learning, aren't we? That's what, no, oh, thank you. I need a hug. <laughs> I just bawled my eyes out when I saw him. I was like, fuck, what have you done? Anyway, so, um, this is a mug that I refired because this is a commercial decal that I put on it. And look, the tail was cracked and I was so disappointed. So I thought I, uh, well then log right off. I'm, I'm not worried about that at all. Um, anyway, um, 
this is a um, mug that had a commercial decal on it, and um, that's right, you will be you will be blocked in about ten seconds. <laughs> so anyway, um, yeah, the glaze is awesome, isn't it? This is just a clear glaze on a white clay body, and it, it's called Blue Green Rabbit Fur, and it just is really pretty. It's a nice rutile uh, copper glaze. And um, anyway, I fired this back up to cone 10, and the glaze did not go away. It just muted, which I'm pretty happy about that. I don't mind that at all. So that particular decal is gonna stay, even though it's commercial, and that's not what we're talking about. This glaze, I'm gonna show you as well, this um, cup had a glaze on it, had a, um, yeah, really subdued it. I kind of like it. This had a, a commercial decal on it as well, and you can barely see it right there. And um, I do. I do have the formula. Um, but the, um, it, it, it just faded enough that I'm not even going to redo it because now this, this cup just is, is amazing. I love it. So it's going to stay just like that. The other mug that I put in here that um, it had an iron glaze on it, but the glaze had defects. And so I just put it back in the kiln and said, you know what? We're starting over. So you can sort of see it. This went to cone 10 with an iron decal on it, um, but it didn't, didn't stay. So that tells you right there, the connection is sketchy. Really, I'm so sorry. Hmm, I may have to try this at a later date. Yep, gas, totally gas. Okay, so, so can you guys hear me? Is this, is this really horrible? Should I try again from my house where I have better internet? Your connection's okay? Yeah, still a little bit of ghosting, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, let me know if this is total crap. All right. So to do this process of making decals, all you have to do is be a little bit computer literate, pick out some pictures that you want to, um, yeah, it did have a ghosting. Yes, it did. Um, pick a little, pick out a picture that you want to, um, use. You have to be computer literate enough to get it on, on a Word document. And then you need to uh, get some paper. And this is ordered from Bell Decal, B E L D E C A L dot com. And get the laser paper clear. 25 sheets are $22.99. And um, it says to fire it to 06, but I fire mine to 05 because I'm firing on a high fire glaze. So that's, that's what I can tell you about that. So, um, all right. Now, what you need to do is also you need to have I just I use a regular printer HP printer to do my scanning and then I use an HP printer that is a laser jet P 1102 W and that's what I print my decals with and all you have to do is peel the paper back off of it like so. You put the paper oops, <laughs> into the machine, like so. You come back to your computer printer, to your computer, and you select print, and you select the laser printer, and only this page I want printed. And then you hit print. And the printer will come on. And you do not want to 
smudge it. So when you pick it up, just be careful that you have it, you know, that you keep your hands away from it. And you print it like that, and that's all you have to do. Then you cut those out, dip them in water, and then put them on the piece that you're putting, that you're going to use. And that's really all there is to it. And um, I don't know if you guys have any questions. I showed you the one. I haven't fired um, <laughs> those Cooper Bears are cute or anything. Um, soak it in water like two or three, 30 seconds, and it slides right off. And this is the one I did the other night and put decals on it. And um, this is my dad's handwriting. No. Well, you wait like five minutes for the paper to dry. Then you go right to the um, water and you can put it in there. So I'm going to be doing some decals. Um, thank you. Thank you. I'm glad you like it. So, but that's all there is to it. Do y'all have any questions at all? That's the process. That's really all you have to do. Get the paper, get the printer. You come up with your own pictures. You water slide it onto the piece and you're good to go. Now, Elaine Bradley is over in Western Australia. She does the most amazing work. <laughs> it's really, really simple. And so if you can look up Elaine um, Bradley, uh, she's on the internet and she, I wish she would come on because she, she sent me some messages after the last uh, scope and said, oh, did you know that you can um, go to high fire and she was telling me all this stuff and I said, man, you need a scope, but she, uh, you did learn from her. Oh, I bet she's awesome to have as a teacher because she's really, really cool. And she, she can teach you everything you need to know. So we'll try, well, let's bully her into doing a scope because she'd be great. But, um, yeah, she knows everything. So anyway, that is pretty much all there is to it. All of the decals that you do, if you make them yourself are going to be, uh, sepia. And then, uh, so when you cut them out, um, they're going to look like this. Ta -da. There's my daughter. There's her cat. And you just water slide them on. These are commercial decals, which can also be purchased and water you use the same process and water slide them onto the decals. So they're fun to do too. Um, you can usually find them at a ceramic store. They're very vintage. Nobody, I mean, you can get them online. You can buy them on eBay. And some of the stores still have them. But um, generally, that's all of it you have to do to make them. You can come up with some really nice stuff. So, um, yeah, that's it. That's, it. that's all you have to do. Um, this kangaroo has some really big balls, by the way. <laughs> I just think that's really funny, but I I don't put my I, I try to put my decals on a mug that doesn't have a lot of other decoration. Um, <laughs> funny, huh? Uh, but um, so this is just a clear glaze, and then I put my color around the top. Um, this one was on a brown clay with a pearl glaze with some more glaze on it. Um, this is another one that is a clear glaze with some decoration around the top that I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to add a decal to that. So, all good. All good. Now, for the, those of you guys that, um, what was I looking for? Oh, I'll have to do another scope. My um, really cool blue turned out so good. Yeah, the one with my dad's writing is really, really cool. Um, this is what I used originally. This is just the notebook paper that um, he wrote the story on. Um, yeah, with urns. They make great um, funeral, funerary urns, or urns, can't say that, um, or memory urns, spirit, spirit vessels. But he wrote on this piece of paper... And then I just made a copy of it and then squished it down size-wise till I came up with something that looked like this, very small. And then I printed that out on the decal paper and then put it on the mug. So that's how you do it. Anyway, 
Hope y'all, can you do, no, I cannot do color decals, but you can get a machine that does color decals, and that's what Elaine Bradley was telling And I don't know what machine it is or anything. We need to get her to do a scope to explain all that to us. But yes, you can do color decals, and there are companies that will make custom decals for you, and they'll make them in gold and silver and platinum and copper, but that cost and so you just have to figure out what you want and how much money you want to spend but it's it's an easy process and it's really fun and like I said in the other scope some people said don't mess up your work um, she orders hers maybe she does yeah yeah I think she said she did and then she looked into buying the machine and decided not to yeah I think that's I think you're right um, but anyway that there it's an easy process so Go have some fun, make some mugs, do some decals from Melbourne. Okay, well, we'll have to get all that information. While I'm thinking about it, I was going to tell you about these two books that I have that I have found very useful. And one is called Graphic Clay, lights on it, by Jason Big Burnett, Burnett or Burnett, and... Um, it's about all kinds of different graphics that you can do on ceramic surfaces and image transfers. So that's a really good book. The other one that I have is, um, is from uh, Lark Ceramics and it's image transfer on clay and it's screen, relief, decal, and monoprint techniques. And it's really cool too. So either of those books are great. Get online. There's tons of other information online as well. But mainly just go have some fun. Have a play. <laughs> well, I'm glad you I'm glad you caught this one I hope it was helpful and um, I'm, I have signed up for catch and I'm still not sure how that's all gonna work I'll, I'll try to make it go on catch so maybe if you missed it you can still catch it somehow so anyway that's all I've got for now I've got to go get to work and get these decals on and fire them before tomorrow so that I can leave on Thursday so thanks for watching, and I uh, hope you all have some fun, and I will talk to you soon. Bye. Oh, okay. All right. <sighs> Lots to figure out. Okay. All right. See you. Bye.